Hey dudes, so today I'm going to just be giving you guys a couple bum workout moves that I really enjoy from today's workout. These are primarily glute moves and butt moves, but they are kind of like secretly a total leg move and kind of a compound move with other parts of your body as well. So you should be feeling this in your core. You might feel it in your arms, perhaps in the first move because you could be holding weights in it. Um, but for the most part, you'll be feeling it in the lower body, especially in your butt and your hamstrings. Okay, so the first move is a side lunge hold. So we're gonna come to the end of our mat. You're gonna step out into a side lunge, leaning your body forward. Think about getting your chest on top of your belly button and you're gonna hold it for three seconds. Then you're gonna press back up and then you're gonna immediately come back down. Three, two, one, up, down, hold. Three, two, one, up. So I'm thinking about holding the position at the deepest point that I can and then I burst up as quickly as I can to kind of do the opposite of that motion. So I hold three, two, one, and I lift up from the side so you guys have a better idea of what my legs are doing. I step right out to the side, I shoot my butt back, and I lean my chest forward. Then I press up, and I come down. So if you happen to not have a band for this, you can still do this move without a band. And if you have weights and you want to make it harder, you would hold your weights right where I was holding my hands, so you would extend them down, and you would kind of frame the leg with it. So your weights would be here, be framing your foot, and coming back up. Again, you're holding this position down here as long as you can. But as long as you can, I mean three seconds. I would say do 15 of those per leg. Your next move is a marching bridge. Okay, so for our marching bridge, we're on our back. Feet are hip distance apart, and the weight, or the band, if you have one, is around your thighs. Also, if you can see how dirty this leg is, it's because I took my dog for a walk this morning and I got covered in mud. <laughs> that being said, I'm going to do a single marching bridge at a time, so one leg at a time, and I'm going to hold it at the top for a count of three. So I'm going to press up, hold three, two, one, release. Press three, two, one, release. So I'm trying to one, drive this knee towards my face, and then drive my butt up by pressing through this heel. So I'm holding for three, three, two, one, lowering back down. Again, think about rearranging bands if you need to. If you don't have bands, that's okay. You can do this too without bands. So you would go three, two, one, release. Three, two, one, release. Three, two, one, release. Okay, again, that's very much a bum exercise. You'll also feel it in your hamstrings. The last exercise that I wanna talk about is a curtsy lunge with a pulse. So you need to be on a slippery surface. So if you're on a carpet, you can either use like a paper plate or I use, to use, I use paper to slide on carpet um, underneath my foot. If you're on hardwood, you can use your sock, you can use a blanket, you can use a face cloth, a face cloth. so it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Okay, so again, this is a side curtsy lunge with pulse. Okay, so I'm gonna ground through my front leg. My back leg is gonna sweep across. Then I'm gonna pulse, three, two, one, and then I'm gonna pull it up, but I'm gonna keep my legs crossed. Come down, three, two, one, then I'm gonna pull it up. Come down, three, two, one, one, and I'm gonna pull it up. Okay, I'll show you from the side so you can see what's going on. I have to change shoes. All right, so from here I cross the leg. Pulse three, two, one, lift up. Hands can be on the hips. They can be racing, so you can use active arms to help lift. But again, I'm trying to keep my legs crossed at the lift, okay? So this back leg, Try to avoid pulling it here and think about keeping it crossed behind here. So this activity of keeping your legs crossed will work your inner thighs that much more. Okay, and that's it. So I want 15 reps of every single move. Okay, so for every single move, you're essentially going to be doing 15 reps per side because every single move is a single-sided a single-sided move. So 15 reps per side, and if you really want to challenge yourself, I would say do it twice in a row because you're really gonna challenge yourself then. Like I did six reps, if that, of each and I'm sweating my butt off. So if you do 15 reps per side just once, you're gonna be feeling it pretty good the next day. If you do that twice back to back, you're really gonna be feeling it. I would say take like 15, 20 seconds of rest in between so you're not killing yourself. But that's it, those are my favorite bum moves of the day today. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments what you think. Again, if you don't have any bands or weights, just do them all freestyle or free weight, free nothing. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to, you don't have to have weights, you don't have to have the bands, it doesn't have to be pretty or perfect. You just have to try. Okay, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. <laughs>